Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Russian Alex Productions here, bringing you a short little tutorial, uh, maybe an advice, uh, should I say, for the best quality render settings. Now, this is kind of associated with uh, a very popular video that I posted, tutorial, uh, 13,000 views it has, and um, pretty much what I'm going to show you is the quality settings that I use for my Adobe After Effects and hopefully this will help you in your future editing so let's get started so you open up After Effects you drag in a random clip, well for me it's a random clip so you open up After Effects and I want to drag in um, let's see this clip now these clips are already rendered so I do not have to render them again keep that in mind and I put this into the timeline as you can see this is already a rendered clip slow motion uh, my Russian preview um, little mini edit so say you want to put this into the render queue first you got to check that it is 1280 by by 720 now this is my custom preset it's a uh, HD 1280 by 720 and if you want to find it here it's going to be uh, where is it? Just put custom and 1280 by 720. That's all you need to know. And uh, the pixel aspect ratio, square pixels. You have all these choices. The one that you need is square pixels. 59.94 frames per second, of course. That's a must if you're using an HD PVR capture card. Uh, you can get that for $200, I believe. And the resolution is full, not half, not third not quarter but full now you do not need to go to advanced settings for example you want to drag this clip to or add this clip to the render queue and as you can see here's my clip now click on render settings quality is needs to be set to best resolution needs to be set to full size as we said in in the comp composition settings is 1280 by 720 is uh, HD YouTube quality not just YouTube just HD in general disk catch read only now here you don't have to worry about this but right here you have to use the compositions frame rate so it will be synced properly and it won't be distorted or it won't ruin the quality don't use 30 frames per second because that's kind of degrading your quality that you recorded with. Use 59.94. Now, press OK. Go to output mode. Now, lossless is the best one, to tell you the truth. Lossless is the best one, so you have to do lossless right here. Custom, lossless. Click on lossless, and format is video for Windows. QuickTime will not give you as, as uh, much of a good quality and um, video for Windows is kind of like I guess AVI format uh, PNG sequence JPEG sequence right here that's gonna render frame by frame into a picture so how, how many frames you got right here 300 frames for instance it's gonna render 300 pictures and you can connect them in like Buju uh, for instance and do some other 3d editing work but we're not going to get into that what you need is video for windows what I use for my quality it's very good post render action none channels all channels RGB red green and blue depth is millions of colors the the more colors the better and a color is pre multiplied or matted same thing you do not need to go into format options however it, there should be no compression because when you put this rendered clip into Sony Vegas which I think you guys will be using because that's where I edit my videos after I render them in Adobe After Effects and here you might have preserve RGB checked 
uncheck that and um, convert to linear light on for 32 BPC and this is the description of this so pretty much uncheck this if you have it checked and convert to linear light on for 32 BPC so that's all you need here now what I do as you guys can see in my previous tutorials I uh, press caps lock so you, you will not see the RAM preview and it will give you the errors only or the uh, log errors uh, how you can see this is click on current render click on this little um, arrow right here and it's going to drop down the frames that you render for example I want to render this oh whatever I want to render this video right here and oh of course it's not responding well I will I want to render this video right here and um, it's going to show me all the errors and everything that you will see frame by frame render in Adobe After Effects and each frame or each error that it will give it will output it and show you which frame the error was on and um, the process of it rendering frame by frame and the effect that it's rendering so that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed and learned something from this and uh, request more tutorials bye bye